South Korea and the United States are taking their 70-year bilateral alliance into the future of warfare, upgrading their military ties with emerging technology. Our defense correspondent Oh Soo Young shows us what this means on the battlefield. Cutting through the fog and early January rain, and the rugged, muddy terrain close to the inter-Korean border, some 800 South Korean and U.S. troops take part in high-tech combat drills. Preparing for the fast-evolving digitalization of warfare, it is the first joint training held by South Korea's Army Tiger Demonstration Brigade and the U.S. Striker Combat Brigade. South Korea's White Tiger and the U.S. Striker 8-wheeled armored vehicles synchronize their movements to enhance firepower, mobility and survivability on the battlefield. Drones and unmanned aerial vehicles help collect intelligence and anti-tank missiles are used in battlefield simulations. The forces run squad-level drills to attack and react to contact, build strong fundamentals at the lowest maneuver echelon in both daylight and during hours of low visibility. The 14-day exercise demonstrates how the two allies are keeping in lockstep with each other by syncing their warfare tactics with the latest technologies and armoured vehicles. Using artificial intelligence, cloud computing, drones and unmanned vehicles, the South Korean army has been aiming to modernise and restructure its ground forces with cutting-edge technology through the Army Tiger 4.0, creating a demonstration unit last June. Adopting hybrid combat systems, we've confirmed their effectiveness in ensuring our survivability, as well as identifying the enemy faster and striking more accurately. With North Korea's recent provocations that display its growing asymmetric capabilities, joint efforts with the U.S. Striker Brigade are crucial to making the 70-year alliance smarter, swifter and stronger. I think as we've seen in recent events that um, the Striker is very well suited to fight in the complex urban terrain and the complex um, rugged terrain that exists here on the Korean Peninsula. Because of our uh, rapid maneuverability that we have as a wheel platform, we can deploy quickly to any area of operations within the peninsula in a very short period of time. Seoul plans to bring the Army Tiger Brigade into full operation by 2025 and eventually roll out the high-tech system across all combat brigades by 2040. Oh Young, Arirang News, Paju.